I had a great time playing with stability and distance the day before and had one more round with the Sparrows at Punlang Golf Course. Sparrows get up at Sparrows Fart and yes, another pre-dawn wake up. Luckily, I stayed on course at the Away Meta with my dad in a junior suite. How's that, bro? Cool, that's sweet. How sweet. Junior suite. It's nice to do these adventures with my dad. The study of Stoicism shows you that time is limited, so enjoy every last second you can. And since the beginning of 2019, I've spent more and more time with my dad. After a shock of the previous day, running around in the rain trying to film stability and distance, and learning the landing areas on the course, but mainly finding the no-go zones, I wrote down my objectives on a piece of paper before this round. I was lacking confidence, so I needed to play a boring round of golf. 1. 2 iron off every tee. 2. Analyze the approach shots carefully to scramble well. 3. Get the ball past the hole on the greens. 4. Truly believe I could make putts. I stuck to my objective and hit a 2 iron even from the back tee off the first. I didn't want to go into that bunker on the left which the driver brings into play. With the pin on the front of the green here, I knew I could hit an approach with a 6 or 7 iron to the green. If I was between clubs, I'd hit the shorter one and chip on. That's going to be easiest. In the hole! Oh! Gabi, good part. <laughs> Many people wonder why I hit a 2 iron off par 5 tees. For a lot of people, par 5 automatically equals driver. We have to look at the layout of the hole. This hole is tight at the driver landing area. The length of the hole is 550 yards, so I'd need a 310 yard drive to be able to even think of going for the green in 2. That's not going to happen at 6am on wet fairways on the second hole of the day. That's really oh, nice. plus the approach shot is over about 60 yards of water. The hole has two fairways after the tee shot. Hitting driver or two iron is the exact same result. I would be laying up to the right side fairway anyway to give myself less water to hit over. The chance of making a puffy score is higher with the driver than with the two iron. I did the same thing the day before and made a birdie. Yeah, good line. This was faulty thinking. I had Texas to the right of the pin, but went for Rhode Island on the left, being greedy. This is a tough, tough, tough par 4 and is the hole that made me think it was a Gary player course. The bunkering is done so well that you think there's no fairway there. The landing area is tight and the water borders both sides of the fairway. I whacked it over the right side bunker and after that is navigated, the hardest part comes. I still have a long approach into the green with a deep bunker on the left and a big drop off on the right into a valley. The green is a long thin panty liner. It's such a good hole, and the day before was into a two club wind. I'll take that valley on the right over the wet bunkers on the left anytime. No, with that shot, I was in two mines. I can leave it short here with the seven iron, maybe on the front edge of the green, way more control. 
than a six iron. But now there's a two-way miss here, which you can't do. Very precise shot. Got a bunker over the other side there. And now I've come on the right here into this little hollow, which is not an easy up and down. I had the seven iron in mind, but of course I was in attack mode and I've gone with the six. If I could go back, I'd probably hit the seven, leave it on the front edge or just short, chip it up, cut it up, get up and down for a four. It's gonna have to be a tough one here. I was tempted by the driver here because there's so much space beyond the trees on the right, but you can't be sure because of the optical illusions made by the trees. Another superb looking tee right shot, making me think, crap myself, then go with the conservative approach. Here I forgot my mission of hitting to the heart of the green and went pin hunting. It caused me to slap at it and I hit a shuri. A better play here is a 5 iron right over the pin and a nice downhill putt on wet greens means it will run like a 10 stimp meter green. Just before my takeaway, I thought, I never hit 4 iron off the tee. I should have reset and selected a 5 or 2 iron instead. These are the kinds of lapses that cause trouble in our games. But it's important to let go of the baggage from the previous shot. See the thoughts as helium balloons just floating out of the top of your head into space, popping as they get too high in the sky. Reset, refresh, redeem. The next shot could be the best of your life. Not as good as yesterday. You're fine. Yeah, yesterday was right edge of the fairway. Here's another mental slip. I knew this was a straight putt, but changed my mind over the ball. Going with the initial instinct is almost always better. What a two iron. What a player. How's this one for a headworm? Just before takeaway, I thought, don't get divot on his ball. And then... Oh, where does that come from now? Oh God, man. Or... PHGC is part of Pacific Links International, the largest global network of reciprocity, which means members have access to over 400 golf courses across the world. They're also hooking up with the new World Golf Handicap System and will be the only course in Myanmar that is part of that system. 
A new golf academy is going to be built with private lesson rooms for the PGA Pro to give lessons and custom fit clubs. This is huge because there are so few courses I've seen with these facilities. They hosted two Myanmar Opens here in 2017 and 2018, so it's a tour-worthy course. There's a five-star hotel, the Away Meta, on the course, overlooking the 18th green and driving range. The coffee downstairs was the best we had had in a long time. What a room! How is it? It's pretty sweet. How sweet is it? It's junior sweet. <laughs> <laughs>